Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, January 18th. Um, and this is episode number 163. <laughs> um, so yeah. But, uh, I was going to vlog yesterday, but I didn't because my OB appointment got cancelled. <laughs> uh, I, I'm saying that because the people asked, um, about it. We got a little bit of snow here in Tennessee and of course everybody freaked out. And, uh, they cancelled all the appointments for yesterday and had to reschedule it for... Thursday, I believe. So, yeah. But anyways. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm still pregnant. <laughs> very, very pregnant. I'll be 37 weeks tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. So, let's get into it. I got some finished objects. And I got one active whip that I can show you. My other active whip I'm saving for tomorrow, which is watch work on Wednesday. But, yeah. So, I'm going to um, hop in. Let's see here. I guess I'll show this one first. So, this is a... Um, I guess it's ambergrimy. <laughs> it's technically ambergrimy that I make. I made for my mom. She loves sunflowers, always has. And this is in the book that was gifted to me a while ago, a few years ago, called Whims Whimsical Stitches. And if I think about it, I'll pop up a picture of the book because I think it's still, it's in there on my craft cart right there. <laughs> I don't want to get it. I never said it somewhere, but it's in there somewhere. But yeah, so I made, I finished it and I'm, I'm excited about it. I haven't given it to her yet, obviously, <laughs> but I'll probably will this weekend. So here it is. Isn't that cute? It's an actual terracotta pot. This pot's bigger than the one it calls for, and I'll talk about it in just a second. But there's the crochet bit. And it's all made out of uh, Red Heart Super Saver yarns. It, this is um, medium time uh, coffee, bright yellow. It's a little scrap of a different color brown there. And this is also the coffee. And there's a dowel in there to make it like sturdy. I, I glued it into this hole. <laughs> I also put a little bit of rocks in here to hold, help get weight, and then the rest of it's stuffing. And then I had to hot glue around the top. I did not do the best job, but I don't think my mom will care. <laughs> I burnt myself quite a few times doing this. But um, this pot is a four inch pot, and the pattern calls for a three inch pot. But when I went to Hobby Lobby, they had four inch ones and two inch ones, but no, three inch ones. So I figured bigger was better. <laughs> so I did have to make my dowel longer. The pattern called for it to be, I think, 7 inches, and this one is 11 inches because it made up for the space, I guess, from the pot. Because the 4 inch is the, um, the size up at the top, I'm pretty sure. It's not the height. But, uh, so it worked out either way. So Devin helped me cut the dowel, <laughs> and it's so cute. I wouldn't recommend this pattern if you don't like sewing because each one of these petals are individual and had to be sewed onto the little head. And then there's this piece and this piece, the two petals. So it's... One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's 14. So it's what, 20 pieces, yeah, <laughs> to sew together. So if you don't like sewing, this, is, <laughs> this isn't the pattern for you, but it is so cute. The pattern, also you can make a daisy, but I made a sunflower because my mom loves sunflowers. But I think it's adorable. She'll set it somewhere, I'm sure. I'll give it to her this weekend, probably. Now, uh, like I said, it's from Whimsical Stitches, which is a book. You can buy it on Amazon. Uh, I believe the... Candle version's cheaper than the hardback, but it's got a ton of cute patterns in it, so I definitely recommend it if you like making amigurumis. It's just this one's kind of a more advanced one because it's got extra things, plus a lot of sewing. But it's adorable. I like it. <laughs> okay, so my next finished object is also an amigurumi, and this was for my um, Stitcher Library number two that I just put out the day before yesterday, or yesterday? I don't remember. But this is the Swaddle Baby by Valerie from Valerie Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. And I just, it's so cute. I just love how it pulled. It, looked, it just pulled so cute. <laughs> and the little face is just adorable. This is a paper pattern. It's on her Etsy shop, which I'll link below if you wanna check it out. I'll also link her channel if you don't already know who she is. And she's like this close to a thousand subscribers. Last time I looked, it was like 900 and something. So um, go check her out if you haven't already. She's awesome to watch. She's so funny and, and sweet. And she's got cats. <laughs> but uh, the yarns are, I love this yarn, light peach, and the color is uh, Mainstays Multi Pink, <laughs> which you'll be seeing this again tomorrow, this colorway, because I found another ball of it and I wanted to use it, and um, so my whip for Watch Work on Wednesday is out of this color as well. It's really cute. It's made in four pieces, but the only one you have to sew on is the hat, and that's only if you choose to. The arms are crocheted together, or crocheted on when you're making the body. And the head and the body are attached, you know, when you crochet. So the hat is loose unless you just choose to tack it down, which is what I did. Because I didn't want it falling off. 
but it's so cute. I just love this so much. I want to make some more of these eventually. And it's a really quick pattern, and it's kind of mindless because when you know you just increase and you just kind of crochet for a while. Um, so I think this is a good like sitting around watch TV. I might work on some of these once the baby's born because you know she could be sitting there and in her little bassinet thing, and I can just be working on this around her, you know. And so you might see more of these popping up. I think these are so adorable. And maybe maybe I won't stuff the next one so much. This is a little chubby, but that's okay. I think it's so cute. I just love it. <laughs> I heard that. What? I said I was a little chubby. No, I said this was a little chubby. Oh, uh, well, I also said J-E-S-S. <laughs> that, that's another way to say my name. I know. I call you Jess sometimes. <laughs> but it's just so cute. All right, let me set that over there. I'm going to save that for June when she gets older. And this is going to my mom's. I hope I can get it to her about breaking it because I'm, I've been so clumsy since being pregnant. I, I never drop and spill things, but since I've become pregnant, just error. I'm to the point now where if I drop something on the floor, it stays there unless Dad or Jesse gets it. Okay, my last finished object is my scrap blanket. I finished it and I kind of wanted to make it longer, but I didn't have enough scraps. <laughs> I also figured out that I hardly ever used purple because I only had three scrap balls of purple and two of them I got during Vlogmas from Beverly. <laughs> so I only had one purple scrap ball that was mine. So I just decided not to put purple in it. But I used all my, not all, but most of my pink, reds, blues, greens, yellows, and oranges. I didn't use the ones that I had a ton of. Like I had a ton of the same greens and uh, pinks. So I do still have some scrap balls, but they're, I have like half of the amount. So I can start saving them up again to make another scrap project. So I'm going to stand up and show you this blanket because I love it. I think it came out so cute. I do wish it was longer, but I could always add to it because it's just a ripple stitch. So I could always add length if I want to. But I'm going to show it to you guys now. This isn't a pattern, by the way. This is just a stitch pattern repeat. I learned the stitch pattern from Bella Coco, uh, a YouTube tutorial. I'll link it below. But it's just the same stitches over and over again. You just make it the width and the height that you want and uh, go from there. But yeah, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna try to. I'm really pregnant, so I can't move very well. <laughs> Get out of the door. Here's where I was last time I showed it to you guys, right here. So I did all this. There's the yellows and greens and oranges. <laughs> and then the blues ugh, and the pinks. It came out almost a square. It's about a square. But I love it. I think it came out so cute. I'll take a picture and insert it of the whole thing laid out. But I think it's so cute. I love the way it came out. It's beautiful. I need to measure it too. There's the bump. She's sticking out. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm tired now. <laughs> but I absolutely love this blanket. I think it came out so good. I don't know why I didn't make one like that before. And I'll definitely use that again in the future. I do have a lot of browns and grays scrap balls, but I didn't want to add too much dark colors to this. And actually in the orange, I kind of wish I hadn't added these dark oranges, but it doesn't bother me enough to rip it out. I think it looks awesome. I love it. And um, I'm not going to lie, I was going to give that blanket to my sister, but I like it too much. So she might have to wait to get the next one. <laughs> but hopefully I can use more purples because I think it would be real pretty with purple section in there. But I don't ever use purples. Um, around Halloween, I make purple bats sometimes. But I mostly use pink because I love pink. And apparently I use a lot of green because I have a ton of green scrap balls. And uh, I got a lot of black and white little balls and different shades of brown. Stuff that I use for like amigurumi eyes and hair and stuff. But I didn't want too much dark in there. But I love that blanket. I think it came out so good. So like I said, it was a stitch repeat. It's not like an actual written out pattern. Um, it's in multiples of 12 plus 3. The plus 3 is the turning chain. So I chained 204 plus 3. So I chained 207. And then I started the repeat. And it's really wide. I need to measure it. If I if I do measure it, I'll pop up the um, measurements. <laughs> and I'll also, like I said, put a picture of it laid out on the floor. So you can see the whole thing all at once because I couldn't hold it all. But it's definitely wider than my wingspan. And I'm 5'7". And um, it's almost a square. So it's about the same length as it is the width. He's making a lot of noise. <laughs> but yeah, so that is my last finished object. I only have one active whip, like I said that I can show you. 
This other one is for tomorrow. My hook's stuck. And it is the scarf that I showed last Watch Your Work on Wednesday. I worked on it some. I don't think I put a stitch marker on it. I did not. I'll do that today. But this is just kind of a mindless project, especially since my blanket's done. So this is called the Sand Drift Scarf. It's a free pattern by Cab Crochet. It'll be linked below and it's C-A-A-B Crochet. There's two uh, A's in there. <laughs> but I really like this so far. And the yarn that I'm using is the yarn that was gifted to me. It's called Yarn Art Flowers Merino. I think the color is just a number. Yeah. And it is a, it's a wool acrylic blend, 2575. And it is a size three. I'm using an H hook. I have to use one of my regular boring hooks because all my other ones are in other projects or misplaced. They're misplaced because I don't have any other projects. They're on the card somewhere. But I like the ones with the soft gripped handles, but this is the only one that was in my hook case, so they're obviously misplaced. <laughs> but that's okay. So anyways, last uh, Wednesday it was in the white, I believe. So then it's moved into the gray and white, light gray and white, and then it gets like darker as it keeps going. I'm in this dark gray now. It's like dark gray and light gray. And then it will shift into really dark grays and then eventually into black. <laughs> but it's pretty good length so far. It's that long. It's going. <laughs> it's a five row repeat. So it's pretty easy and simple. You know, you get it in your head and you can just sit there and do it. So I've been working on this while watching TV and stuff lately when my blanket got done. So I'm just gonna keep working on it until it's a scarf length <laughs> and then um, fast finish it off. I don't think it'll use all this yarn. It might. But um, we'll see. If it doesn't, I can maybe try to make a hat or something to go with it. Because <laughs> this will probably be donated. Because uh, it kind of irritates my skin a little bit. The, the wooliness of it. Um, even though it's only 25%. And what's weird is, I think it's different types of wools. Because, um, like Karen Cakes, they have a little bit of wool in them. The regular Karen Cakes. They never bothered me. I've used them before. They feel rougher to me. But they don't, like, actually make my skin turn red <laughs> and get itchy. But this one is... And that's the way Apaca does. Apaca does it really bad. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be hypoallergenic, but apparently um, not for me. Because <laughs> I can't even, like, be in, like, I have some Apaca yarns over there. And if I start just messing with the boxes, I'll start breaking out and stuff. So, those are going to be giveaways. But anyways, that is my scarf. And it's called the Sandra Scarf. I like it because I like these. Uh, these are extended double crochets, essentially. Uh... You know, double crochet, you would wrap yarn over once and stick it in. This one, you do it five times, and then you just do it like a double crochet all the way up um, to make it tall. I, I know how to do these really well because the Mandala Madness I made in 2018 had a ton of these in it, different different size ones. Some were longer and some were shorter. Um, but there's, it's really easy once you get, get it down. I think it's really pretty. It's going to look really good when it gets done. I'm excited about it. So that's kind of my mindless project. Like I said, I do have another whip that I'll share with you guys tomorrow for what you're working on Wednesday. And then I need to start something else. Probably some amigurumis. I made a Excel sheet for my computer last night. I was sitting there. Uh, for my finished objects. I got it all. It's for the whole year, 2022. And I, I want to keep track of like what I make. So I have like an amigurumi category. Hats, scarves, blankets, baby blankets. Stuff like that. So the stuff that I make a lot. I have holiday stuff, decorations. Ornaments, which I'll keep separate because I usually make a ton of ornaments. Um, and I've been taking pictures of all my finished objects. I've done good so far. Of course, it is January. <laughs> but I've got them all on there. I'm trying to keep them organized pretty. Because a lot of these things I won't have anymore at the end of the year. So I can recap what I made uh, with my files on my computer instead of keeping stuff around. Because, like, the sunflower is going away. The scarf will be going away. Uh, ornaments and things like that that I make will be given to people and uh yeah so and, and that rainbow wall hanging is still in there i gotta give it to my sister i haven't seen her since uh i made that but i'm keeping a paper copy for when i do my show my uh videos and uh then i'm keeping like a fancy excel sheet <laughs> on the computer so that at the end of the year i wanted to do like a monthly update i don't know if i'll be able to do it this month because <laughs> i'll probably have a newborn at the end of the january but um I wanted to do like a monthly recap and then a yearly re recap at the end of the year. That's the plan. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> but yeah, so that's everything I'm working on. I'm so excited to have my blanket done, but now I kind of want to start another one. I like having blankets going. I might make some baby blankets because I don't have any in my stash anymore to give to people. 
I have plenty of my own because I made some for June. Plus, I got gifted a whole bunch of cute ones that people made. So, she's good on blankets. But uh, I need to make some that are towards both genders. So, that if anyone I know has a baby, I can just be like, here you go. And I don't have to, like, make it, you know, when they, when, like, within a week or whatever. Oh yeah. So, I love this. It's going to live in my living room to be used. I need to wash it. I haven't washed it yet. I will in the ends as I went by color section. So it wasn't like horrible when I got done to weave in a million ends. And yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna start. Probably keep stick to little things until the baby's born and then go from there, but we'll see. <laughs> so I do have some happy mail, but I'm gonna show that in another video later this week. Sometimes it's just a, uh, some baby gifts, an Ella gift and a Christmas card that came late. Um, but I would, I'll just show that in a separate video because I'm tired already. <laughs> I need to get this video edited and up and go just relax. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to chat about. My appointment, this vloggy part, <laughs> um, appointment got canceled because of snow. We only got like two inches, but people aren't here freak out for everything. Um, I was so annoyed because I got up that morning and I was ready. I wanted to go because I have things I want to talk to the doctor about. <laughs> but, um, I'm supposed to be getting induced next week, but I don't know what day yet. <laughs> They're supposed to tell me yesterday. <laughs> and, um, so, like, I just need to know information because Devin needs to know about his work stuff. I need to know about where Jesse's gonna go, who's gonna get him back for school if it's on a school day. Um, I gotta get all that figured out. But now my appointment's on Thursday, so I guess I'll do that then. <laughs> then. But, um, yeah, so we stayed home yesterday's why I didn't vlog, because it's snowy and Devin worked also, so I didn't have an option. It was just boring. <laughs> um, I made some really good chicken yesterday though, barbecue chicken in the oven. It had bacon and cheese on it, it was really good. Um, yeah, and today I'm making pork chops. Some kind of pork chop gravy thing is what I was wanting. So I wanted to eat it with mashed potatoes. <laughs> so I gotta look up something for that. Because it's too late to start a crock pot meal. <laughs> but, well, pork chops do cook pretty fast. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Nothing else is really going on. I dropped off all the orders today from uh, the shop update yesterday. They went fast. I know it's been a while since I made bags. And I know people are really excited about the hook cases because I haven't made those in like a year. And I do plan on making more. Uh, it'll just be probably March because <laughs> uh, I have to have the baby and then recover from it and uh, you know get into a swing of having a newborn and doing stuff because <laughs> it's been six years since I had a baby it's been a while and I'm not the kind of person who goes to other people's babies like even pre-COVID I wasn't like my sister <laughs> she sees someone with a baby and she's like all over there wanting to hold the baby and all that and I'm not that kind of person um I don't really like people holding my baby <laughs> unless it's like the grandparents. I don't want other people touching my baby and getting germs all over it. And I feel that way about other people's babies. I don't want to like encroach on other people's babies, especially because there's a period where they can't get vaccinated, um, where they're super susceptible to, you know, everything. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I'm just one of those people who I don't hold other people's babies usually. So other, there's only really two babies I've ever really like taken care of. And that was my nephew. And my son <laughs> so it's been a while it's been a long time since i had a baby and today we went and got some swaddles because i realized we don't have a single swaddle <laughs> and i was like she's coming next week probably and i don't have anything for her to sleep in <laughs> that is swaddle because i'm not good at swaddling with blankets they always come undone so we went we ran to walmart and i got a couple swaddles from there um hopefully they work i don't i didn't have those when jesse was a baby i just rolled them in like a burrito but he always came out but, um, yeah, so I got swaddles. Everything's ready for her. Her bed's ready. Her car seat's ready. We got to put the base in the car. We need to do that. I'm going to have to do that soon. When is, is Devin's off this weekend. He can do it this weekend. <laughs> um, got the stroller parts. I figured it out how I can do it without him helping me. I got hospital bag packed and her bag packed. Some of these Happy Mail. I, we got Happy Mail, um, they're like onesies, but they're the long sleeve ones. I don't know what to call them. The sleepers. Um, I haven't washed them yet because I was waiting to show them to you guys. And I'm going to wash them. And then I'm probably going to put them in the hospital bag as well. Because I'm scared I'm going to get stuck in the hospital like I did with Jesse. So I want to have plenty of clothes for her. Because um, the hospital clothes that they give us is just little shirts. They put little shirts on the babies and then diapers, you know. So he's making so much noise in there. I hope you guys can hear me. He's digging through his craft drawer. Probably making a mess, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to chat about. Got the orders off, came home. Well, we went to Walmart. Got swaddles and some toothbrushes because <laughs> we need a new toothbrushes. 
and came home. Me and Jesse played Monopoly. He beat my butt. Uh, Devin's napping. He's off of work tonight, but he did work last night, so he's napping. That's it. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Tomorrow I'll be watch work on Wednesday. Thursday will probably be a happy meal. I had something planned for Friday, too, but I can't remember now what it is. Oh, well. Probably a vlog, too, one of those days, because of there'll be someone for you guys in on what they say. Because, um... I don't know when they're gonna induce me. <laughs> and I, I wanna know, like it's bugging me to death that they canceled that appointment over two inches of snow. Uh, I need to be prepared. <laughs> I got a little stuff to prepare, you know. I got a kid that I need to, I know my mom's gonna watch him, but she needs, you know, like, advanced warning. So she doesn't make other plans, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's just stressful. I'll just be glad when over. But I'm gonna hop off here and edit this and get it up for you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow for watch work on Wednesday. I'll probably chat a lot tomorrow too. <laughs> Cause I do that a lot, but uh, yeah. So all the links that everything I talk about will be linked below. And people, if I mentioned anybody, and I mentioned Valerie, but I don't know if I mentioned any other people. <laughs> but uh, they'll all be linked below. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Hold on. All right. Is it a video? Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. You did so good making that. It looks just like a switch. You're so smart. <laughs>